Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork Bork. Um, if you are like me, that you like enjoy to level a lot of alts, and specifically horde in this case, um, something that is kind of nice to do, in my opinion, is to like everyone would like a dark moon storage box. I I believe because it's a fourteen slots bag and it's it's a unique one, sure. So you can only have one. But it's like, um, it goes on the auction house for like 10 gold at the moment. Uh, it can go up spirals up to like 20 gold, I believe, um, during like the Dark Moon Fair when it's on the opposite faction because it's gonna be more travel to get there. Um, it all depends on how many Dark Moon storage boxes there is on auction house. But a way that you can do it that I've gonna start do it if I'm leveling any new characters I've done it on my shaman a little bit and that is the um, in order to buy the dark moon storage box you you're gonna need the dark moon uh, tickets that you can get from turning in different kind of uh, materials in this case we're gonna discuss this small furry paw that is one of them so in order to get enough tickets for this Dark Moon storage box, is you, you're gonna have to turn in 250 of the small furry paw. And I know that is a lot, but uh, yeah, you, you need 50 tickets for this uh, Dark Moon storage. So you're turning in five at a time. And like you can buy another item also. If you want to, if there's anything else that you would like to buy from the uh, using the Dark Moon tickets, but I mean, if you just look around, I mean, you you have the the like all of these different kind of. Uh, I'm gonna show in a video that uh, we're gonna have this farm. You can see me now. Oi! Whoa! What the hell happened? There you go. <laughs> that's weird. Um, yeah, that's really weird. But you can see in this farm that is uh, like you always have these kind of like small fields in the barrens where there's like this high grass. And there's a lot of these like lions. And all you need to do is like whenever you're questing, is just make a small detour. Uh, I mean, make a small detour and just kill a few of them and see how many you will get. At the moment, they sell an auction house for uh, four silver each, which is not a lot, I know that. But I mean, like rather than vendoring them or selling them on the auction house, uh, like try to send them to a bank alt or something. I mean, if you're planning to um, leveling a lot of alts, I mean, it's it's pretty simple. Like you can see over, um, as way over there, you can actually see that the 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 one at the top has a thirty six percent chance uh, drop chance, and usually around one of these bushes is like two or three, maybe even four or five, depending on where they are. But like you can see on the map that I'm showing you up above, that they are scattered like all around the crossroads area where people are the most and where like most of the Baron's quests is. So, and like you're getting XP from it as well. Like you sure you can go and do it on the max level, but I wouldn't like actually go like hardcore farm them. But I'm just giving this tip that like rather than vendoring the small furry paw, or selling them on the auction house. Yeah, like sure you can sell them on the auction house if you want to. But I'm gonna start like sending these to my bank alt and store them on the bank. And uh, yeah, like I'm using some add-ons so I can see how many I actually got on this account and on this server. So I know when I'm gonna have 250 of them. Uh, might be never, but like if you're stack piling up, let's say that you get 150, then you only need 100 more. So you've, you've cut the amount of 
gold that you need in order to buy a dark moon storage box in a sense so like and i would imagine that um it, it's it's like you can just farm them put them away and then once you have enough just buy a dark moon storage box and put it on the auction house if you want to or have it equipped for a while uh, if you need it because it's not a, like bound bound on pickup or equipped so you can send it on to different kind of alts um i have one for example that i'm all like i'm always going to send to my my new alt that i'm leveling because imagine having a like level 5 you're getting to the second questing zone uh, on level 5 and you're having a 14 slot bag in your inventory that that's going to be help a lot i mean that's two that's more than two bags worth of uh space so that's two six slots bags plus two slot two more spaces so yeah it's just a little small tip it's not like a big uh, gold farm or anything uh it's just a little tip that i'm gonna start doing and yeah like just remember that rather than just throwing them away or vendoring them or yeah whatever just try to stack pile them a bit if you're planning on leveling like especially now for season of discovery if you're playing a lot of alts you want to try every single class and you're questing in the barons or maybe there is an alliance place i don't know i haven't looked up that but if you're playing a horde i mean if you're planning to do it like why not just send them to a bank alt and stockpile them you're getting a little bit closer to the to the dark moon storage bag a box so yeah that's just a little uh, recommendation i'm having for you and uh, yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the future in the next video bork bork